today we gain flight. Ooh, welcome friends to a new out uh, uh, uh. <laughs> friends to a new episode of Feed the Beast Revelation. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a pretty good day. Today we want I, I'm gonna give you some updates. We've been working hard. I got my B area. You guys have seen that, right? Um, I kind of expanded a little bit. We've got all uh, yeah, let's actually go down. You guys can see what kind of bees that we got. So I have finished the whole common branch. So I've got well, obviously you guys have seen these ones. And ooh, that almost full there. We've got our common bees, right? And we were talking about breeding up your bees. Well, we got ourselves to cultivated, and I made it all the way to imperial. It it took me a while. Um, actually, I had my imperial bees before I had my unweary bees. I've got the noble, so the whole noble line is done. Uh, I've got my diligent bees which you guys probably saw, I think. And then we also had the unweary bees. And then if you get those two together, you get yourself a industrious bee. So now I have the ability to make pollen, which comes from industrious bees, and royal jelly, which are all made from, and I've got more than one iteration of pure bees for these. I actually have three. I, I've done a lot of work off camera because it's very time consuming and it requires a lot of effort. Uh, and you don't need to always be seeing all of it, but um, pretty cool. So we've been working really hard. Um, I've started a new branch, uh, the Veiled Branch, uh, which starts with Eldritch Bees. Um, I have to look at the rest. I'm not exactly sure what other ones are there, but I'll have to check it out. And this is where I'm doing all my breeding. I've been working on automation. And I had these connected with another transfer pipe. And it ran into some issues with uh, bees kind of going from one hive to another. So I have to work out some of that. Not so good. Uh, because then they... You know, the breeds get mixed up and you don't want to do that, which is uh, a problem. So I expanded our tree breeding process. We've got all kinds of different tree breeding here. Let's see if we get ourselves some new stuff. We'll talk about that in a little while. Uh, what do we got here? That is not what we need. I'm hoping I can get ourselves here. Give me that. Give it to me. Nope. Not what we need. Also not what we need. We've got a couple here that are available. Ooh, is that the one? Common walnut. Nope, we've got some walnut. I, I have done some tree breeding uh, offline as well. Uh, I expanded our area a little bit. Uh, we've got a nice path. This is where we're going to put all of our trees after they've been bred. That is a sweet chestnut tree. That is what we were trying to get to. Check it out. Chestnuts pretty cool they yield the most amount of seed oil which is great it's really good so that's nice um, give me that what's that guy another common walnut that's okay ooh all oh, red spruce that's from I had spruce in here before uh, so what I'm trying to get I believe is I think we can get ourselves a willow tree from this stuff, but uh, you guys are probably wondering why are you jumping so high? Well, somebody gave me a gift. Look at that. So join your stash. So thanks to uh, one handy Andy, he gave me that uh, with this for some Botania stuff, which is kind of cool because now we can kind of just tool around. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, is that it? Did we get a willow? No. I think we can get a willow. Um. All right, silver birch uses. Do, do, do. Let's take a look. Here we go. Uh, we have apple, apple oak and silver uh, white willow. Yeah, that's what we're trying to get. We have a 10% chance of getting that. Um, looks like we can also get beech, which we have. 
Yeah, I think that's it. Silver birch, yeah. So we're trying to get ourselves a willow tree right now, which uh, we'll get it eventually. That's okay. So, you know, I'm getting different iterations of trees. We'll, we'll get one. I, I feel I'm confident. We'll let them run for a little while. Ooh, is that it? No, another apple oak. Um, so nice thing is, is these guys are doing, I need to swap these ones out over here because I've already got a sweet chestnut, which is what's making these guys here. I've been getting all these different butterflies. We have 47 of 57 breeds. I know that's a lot. Um, to pick those up, you just need a, let's put this away. We just need a scoop. So you take your scoop and then you just right click like that on them and then they they go into your inventory like that so I just putting them away and we've already got some of those so uh, very cool very cool all right next thing we want to work on flight today now I did the hard part off camera I've been I've been busy I've been doing things I got ourselves the angel ring Oop. so let's look that up this is the best flight you can get in the game. So this, I usually always go for this. It doesn't matter. Any one of these you want, um, you can get. But So you have to make one of these guys and one of these guys. So you need to golden lasso a chicken. Not too difficult. Get some resonating power crystals. And then you can get a squid. Pretty easy to find. That thing's easy. The ring of the flying squid. Super easy to make. This part's pretty easy too. You get yourself a golden lasso easy to make go get your bat this is the hard one the ghast so you need a drop of evil to make this coincidentally enough I found one in a mine very cool um, I have not actually beat a wither skeleton to get one I found it which is cool um, so I kind of got lucky otherwise I'd have to go find some withers I haven't even found a dungeon yet so that's kind of neat and then you have to kill a ghast or you have to take a ghast down to like to health so he's got he needs very little health but yeah you can change it to whatever things you want which is very cool so we have that but as you can see it doesn't work why not well why not why doesn't it work well it's because if you look at it it requires it says uses gp 32 gp well clobber stop how do you make gp well, i'm going to show you all right, let's get started. So we are going to make a resonator. This guy, you need one of these, a resonator. So let's get ourselves a block of coal. I think I've got a bunch of this stuff. So we're gonna put this stuff up here. How do I get these lasers? Maybe Cribs did that. Uh, we've got ourselves some blocks of coal. Um, actually, I think we're gonna need a bunch. So let's take the whole thing and I think we're also going to need this guy. You're going to need a glass cutter. You're also going to need uh, some ender pearls. I just know this because I've made it so many times. Uh, so I can kind of do most of it off the top of my head. Uh, or some of it, not most of it. Uh, there's another thing I'm thinking I'm missing here. Uh, these guys. Resonating deals. Resonating redstone crystals. Okay, so make this. Uh, oh, and we need some redstone. And we need some sticks. Do we have any sticks made? No. So let's make some. Let's make the sticks. Boom. All right, we've got that. Let's make some redstone torches. Boom, we've got that. Because we're going to need them. Um, oh, and we need some iron as well some iron and some iron okay I think we can make this now can we make it yes let's make one boom all right and we're gonna take this resonator and we're gonna stick it right there okay well why do we have a resonator well I did make some of these guys off camera and we can put those in there uh, what you need is some stone so do we have any stone? We do. So let's take some stone. We're going to stick it in there. What? Polished stone. Oh, we need to make bricks. Okay. Fine. Bricks. Boom. 
and polished stone. Boom. Okay, now we can put that in there, and it requires 40 GP. Well, uh, why is it not working? Oh, well, okay. What we want to really make are mills. We want to make water mills, and we're going to try to make a few of these today, but we need burnt stone, which requires 8 GP to do each one of those. So what we're going to do is make a... Where is it? This guy. A manual mill. So we need to polish stone. Okay. And, oops, go back. Sorry. We need a resonating crystal, two polished stone, and a resonating gear. So let's take a few of these guys. And let's pop this into... Do we have everything we need? We need to make one of these. Okay. Do we have any wood? We do not. Get some wood. I'm not even sure if I can make that out of this. Uh, let's do this. We don't need that back. I think we can do it like so. Okay, we've done that. And I think we can make this now. And a manual mill. Once you make a manual mill, you can then place it right next to it. And now you will start to use this. So if you right click on it, it will just go. So now we can just kind of sit here off camera or you can just walk away. This is going to turn these into grid is overloaded. Oh, maybe I don't need those yet. Oh, will it only do one at a time? One burnt stone. What am I missing here? Generating 15 power. It requires 10. It requires 40. Interesting. Hmm. A rainbow stone. That's cool. This used to be that simple, but maybe it's not. All right. Oh, here we go. Is it working out? There we go. Okay. Don't use the upgrades. You can't use the upgrades yet. Even though I have I did a bunch of this off camera and I've made it all and then I broke it all down and made some more. Okay. So we're generating one, one grid power. Pretty cool. Okay. We've got that. Let's put those in there. Take you... Is that working? Yes, it is. Okay, so put a stack in there, right click on it, walk away. Pretty easy. So just get through a whole stack and we'll bring you back when we've made a whole bunch. Okay, friends, I have done a, a fair amount here. We've got some stuff going, but we need to make ourselves some watermills. I've got this, we need to make a bunch of these. I'm gonna make as many of these as I can. So, um, I pressed R on my inventory, and now it's all messed up. I hate it when that happens. Okay, uh, let's do that. Add you. Okay, um, choose your water mill. Choose those guys. Oh, we need to make a bunch of torches, too. Okay, let's do this and this. There's that. Um, this and this. We need some more. We're going to need a bunch of torches, so. Alright. Uh, let's just add as many. How many torches can we do here? Stacks on stacks, baby. Alright. We got five. Five redstone left? No, we're good. Okay, let's take these. Let's do this. We've got a whole bunch of redstone. All right, let's make ourselves some water mills. We need to make as many of these things as we can. So let's make, boom. Ooh, I need wood. Oh, okay. Let's do that again. Give me those. All right, we made 18. So we should be able to split those up. We can make 10. 
All right. I had to, about two and a half stacks. And we made nine. Uh, can we make one more of those guys? Ah, uh, nine's fine. It's good to get started anyways. So, uh, the other thing that we need is grab yourself some buckets. All right, and we're gonna put some of our B stuff away. I don't need to be hanging on to some of this stuff. And we're gonna step away from bees for a little while. I've been diving into nothing but bees. It's been kind of a pain, but that's okay. Um, uh, get your buckets ready. Put those here. Take your buckets, and we're gonna put our water mills here. What are the water mills for? Well, I'm gonna show you, but first we need some buckets of water. These never grew, so I'm wondering if you need to have end stone for those. All right, so I don't know exactly what the best way for this is. I made a area, check it out, it's so cool. Um, well, first thing we're gonna do is put them here like so. Um, okay, and I think we're gonna do, oh, that doesn't really work like that. Let's do it like so. Okay, so now if we play some water, we will start to generate GP, and we're generating 40 GP over, because what it's doing is you're taking the water and it's flowing against your your water mills. So we're going to do this and see how well this flows. Now we're generating 65. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to place two more. I'm going to place one here. And then place one same area. So really what you want is flowing water across your thing. So now we've got 73 GP. So I think we should be able to fly at this point. Because I think you need 40. We can fly! We got f Ooh. No? Do I not have flight? Oh wait. It's reoccurring. Oh wait. Did I have... Oh, my better resonator is working. It is. Look at look how fast this is going. <laughs> Once this is done, we'll have our GP back. So you can't run this at the same time unless you get a whole lot more grid powder. But so it requires 40 GP per stone. It will get them. Uh, but once this finishes, then we'll get our stuff back because I wasn't finished with my third set yet because <laughs> I want to make more of these. OK, so now we should have full grid power. And we should be able to. There we go. We have flight. We can fly, everybody. Look at that. The game's over. We're done. Look at all these butterflies. We got butterflies on butterflies. Oh, man. When you get to this point, things get... The game gets a lot easier and a lot more fun. Uh, it's just such a manual process. So, we're good. Now, you can play around with... I don't know the, the best layout. Uh, I haven't played around with this yet, but really what it is is the amount of water that goes across these uh, you can get what if I put one here? Will I get more? 74. I, you'll have to play around with where you put the water. We have 7% efficiency loss. That's not too bad. And we have 74. Now if I put another one in the corner there I wonder if I'll get some more let's go see uh, I kind of now I'm interested to play around with it a little bit to see what kind of grid power we can produce and you'll you'll have to play around I don't know the exact best layout but I'm sure there's videos on it somewhere um, perhaps I don't know and what do we have we have 77 so very good okay I'm, I wonder if I put one here, if that, if that helps. What do we have? Nope. See, now that, that reduced it, and that went back up. So you're going to have to play around with where the water is. 
I think what you want is kind of not it right not right next to it but you want it like one block away makes it the most efficient so maybe if I get this guy up and I put him here we'll get more 78 yeah we have 78 now so there you go play around with it you'll see uh, how well you can be now if you have pretty much if you have 78 like you can fly around the whole world without ever having to worry about it. We have our, our bouncy boots, so even if for some reason our GP ends, we I have the bouncy boots, so we're, we're kind of safe. Look at all those butterflies. <laughs> I love breeding trees because you, your, your area becomes so active. But All right, friends. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of building with clobber stomp feed the beast revelation we love this game it's so much fun right as always please like and share on all of your favorite social media and i will catch you guys in the next episode peace out everybody take care and